Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to do today's video because I am super pumped after coming back from my trip to Europe. Last week I was in London, England and a couple cities in Belgium. I was in Brussels and also in Ghent and so I had an amazing time. I went with my university so a part of my master's program, kind of like the culminating experience of it all was to go on a trip to Europe and to learn about higher education um, abroad. And so my master's degree is in higher education. Um, most of you know that, but if you don't, that's why I originally went to um, Europe. And so as a kid, I grew up overseas. I was a military brat, so I moved around a lot. I've said this before, but if you're new, just trying to give you some context. But yeah, I wanted to take the time today to kind of give you guys a lot of the tips and tricks that I learned in the process of kind of figuring out how to pack for Europe, how to adjust to the different cultures and the countries and all that kind of stuff and kind of what did I need to know and kind of adjust to when I got there um, and so I wanted to share kind of the things that I learned and also some tips that I thought I probably should have used before I left. So the first tip is going to be definitely pack light okay I have this really bad habit of needing options and I really didn't need as many options as I thought I would need and so I already had out of everybody in the group the most bags going on the trip which is not surprising with me but I definitely should have packed lighter because I couldn't shop as much as I wanted because I had all this stuff in my bags already so that was like a rookie mistake of overpacking and not packing enough room for an extra bag or extra things that I wanted to buy or whatever and so that would be my first tip is to pack light. Second tip is make sure you get your passport way in advance before you go abroad. I know that sometimes um, the passport process takes a little bit longer. They tell you that you're supposed to get it between six to eight weeks um, and there's all these little things that you should know when ordering a passport and all that when you're looking at you know going abroad and this is kind of expensive. It's like $200 or so ish um, to get a passport and all that stuff so definitely get that way in advance before you go overseas. And also when you get your passport, make sure that you make copies of it. Also make copies of like your debit cards, your credit cards before you leave abroad because you wanna make sure if anything were to happen, if you lose something or whatever, that you have copies of your documents, of your legal documents, especially at home in the States and also with you when you're traveling abroad. When we're talking about bank cards and all that stuff as well, also let your bank know that you're going abroad because then like for me, I bank with Wells Fargo and so they actually let you fill out a little form online letting them know like what countries you'll be in what dates you'll be going and all that so they know to authorize those purchases and authorize the card usage but also they get rid of a lot of the transaction fees the European transaction fees so like when I got cash out of the ATM I got like $20 back in fees from Wells Fargo because they knew that I was going overseas and they knew that um, in order to give me those fees back. So just let your bank know that you're traveling so that you don't get charged as much for like getting cash out or different currencies and stuff like that. Also on the note of bank cards, make sure if you're going to Europe especially or other countries just in general, um, use a debit card that has a chip in it. So I didn't realize that a chip is a big deal overseas because it shows authenticity of your bank card or whatever and so I know all debit and credit cards don't have a chip but I specifically used my credit card and debit card that had chips in them when I was overseas because in certain countries it matters more so like in Belgium you have to have a chip regardless of where you go if you're trying to use your credit card or your debit card but in other places it wasn't as like serious but you may never know like some of the places that you may go try to shop or uh, purchase food or anything may need that chip so just for the safe side make sure you have at least one card with some funds on it that has a chip my biggest tip and most like clutch situation for my whole trip was this my hair protective styling I did not want to worry about my hair while I was traveling at all and I mentioned this a little bit in my last video but I seriously I did not realize how amazing these twists would be overseas when I was like up and running around and trying to just do stuff and my hair was the last thing that I wanted to worry about and so these twists were very very clutch if you want to see how I did these twists I have a tutorial here on my channel already I'll link it here for you guys but you already know I've posted a lot about these twists and they were just so clutch so if you could protective style while you're abroad perfect because you don't have to worry about bringing product or tools or anything and it like makes your life 
so much easier. Bring the right plugs, okay? So there's multiple different plugs that you can use throughout the world, obviously. And so I got, first I got the wrong plug. So I got these plugs, the two tong ones. Um, this is for more like Brussels or Belgium, Germany, um, Southern Europe. But they also have the ones that have like the multi-prong. So you can use it in different countries and has all these different prongs get that one it's more expensive but it's so much much more worth it especially if you're like going to different places hopping around different countries especially in Europe where it's so easy to hop around countries they use different plugs everywhere so make sure that you bring your your different plugs for the different places that you'll be also bring a like attachable battery I can't remember what these things are called but I have like this thing right here it's a case but it's a Mophie and so it's a battery that's on my phone this was so clutch on my trip because we would be out all day long exploring the cities and things like that and everybody's phone would be dying people would be trying to find an outlet and like all that craziness but I had this so literally my phone would come I would wait for my phone to completely go to like 5% I would cut this on and this will charge your phone a whole like 100% and so I would literally have two charges like two phone charges per day which was so amazing because I didn't have to worry about like not being able to use my phone for different pictures and video and stuff like that so it was super awesome um, and this is just super useful I got this one at Nordstrom Rack for 60 bucks I know usually they're like a hundred uh, but look around at like TJ Maxx Marshalls Nordstrom Rack try to find ones that you can find cheaper because they're out there just make sure that it's like a good one um, Mophie is the brand of this one and that's a pretty popular brand when you're choosing restaurants first tip is to make sure that there's other people in the restaurant before you go in there because that means that people like the restaurant versus not also make sure you ask the waiter or whoever different locals like what's popular what do people usually order what kinds of food it is like don't be afraid to ask questions because you need to know and don't be that American that only eats American food when they're abroad like you try to find a McDonald's or a Pizza Hut or a Subway and it's like you're in a totally new country and a new world try new things and so I would definitely open your mouth try to communicate um, as far as Europe goes there's a lot of people who speak English so it's really not that bad to try to find somebody who um, can translate or at least kind of tell you a little bit about what's on the menu and also Google Translate is your friend I literally was Google translating everything like anytime that I saw a menu and I didn't know what a dish was or whatever I Google Translate it I look on Google images like all that stuff just so that I could like see what I was gonna get and also see if I wanted to try something new that I had never had before okay so you know how here in America you can like go get tap water for free or order water for free or um, whatever it is not like that in a lot of places overseas so you actually have to pay for water and things of that nature so I would suggest bringing a water bottle with you now there aren't fountains like prevalent throughout um, I don't know why I'm like I felt like Europeans don't drink as much water as we do I don't know cuz I was like thirsty because even the drinks that you order like if you order a coke or a fanta or something they give you these little bottles and I'm like okay I just finished this glass of soda and I'm already thirsty and I have to buy another drink just to like quench my thirst and so um, definitely bring like water bottle with you that you can refill on your visits just so you have something on you to stay hydrated and when we're talking about drinks whatever you do if you are of age and of age is different in different countries but definitely, if I can give you one tip drinking wise, order the house wine. It's always good, it's usually pretty cheap, and it will get you lit for a very low cost. And then the last but not least, be open. Do like non-tourist things and touristy things when you're abroad. You wanna see how the people of that culture live, but also go to the sites and make sure that you make time to kind of see the, the or, or at least just be a tourist, you know? If you're abroad, you wanna just explore different things, and so be open, plan for a exploration time but also plan in some strategic like we're gonna hit this point hit this point and this point have somewhat of a schedule because that is helpful when you're on a trip and trying to do a lot in a small amount of time but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time I'll touch you guys later bye